How to create long-term wealth with Terra Luna Classic. We're going to look into a proposal that should be implemented with Terra Luna Classic with the community's backing. So currently, the price is 0.02 cents. We're going to look at how this can go to $1 or even $100 with the community. But before I do so, please check out my channel for the last proposal video, which I went into this. Like the video. Also, can you comment how many Terra Luna Classic you're holding as this is how we show support and how the community is strong and also subscribe. So this is my proposal for the community. It is initial state pool offerings. So what is an initial state pool offering, you ask? A initial state pool offering is going to be based on a proof of stake model. So what is proof of stake? So as you can see here, you have a validator. With the validator, they are also a pool owner. But what you do is you choose to stake with your Terra Luna Classic tokens to a validator and in turn you get rewards. So it will be a group of people stake to a validator. What's incurred and what works with it is there is gas fees associated with the validation process um, in terms of a commission or something like that, but also people work on block rewards. So a Luna Classic pool works very similar to that in terms of you will stake your Terra Luna Classic. So this works is you delegate the Luna Classic to the pool. And then from there, in return, what you should get as it currently works in this finite staking model is you will get staking rewards back of around 1%, minus any commissions that the um, delegator or pool owner has put um, on his model. So the commission or is obviously variable and they specify that in rewards, which I'll explain later. But now that we understand staking, how does it work when we use ISPOs? Where does the value get added to it? So this is based on our Cardano model and it is the same process again. So you, the group will stake or delegate to the pool. But in this instance, the validator in this particular example will be representing a lunar project. So one from the lunar ecosystem will set up a validator or node and run their own pool. So it works in the same way. You will delegate your Terra Luna Classic to the validator or project or pool, however you want to refer to it, and you will give your rewards to that project. So you will not be getting back your 1% daily rewards anymore. In return, you will get a native project token. And this is where we create wealth for Terra Luna Classic. So each of these projects will have their own native token. So what that means is they will have a use case for that token. For example, as a DEX, it might be lendable, tradable, or you might be able to provide liquidity with it. And in turn, you can get a return. Same thing have happened with Cardano. So Cardano had loads of projects that went through ISPOs, a lot of them with DEXs and lending protocols. And with them, they also had value, valuable native tokens. For example, when we go on here, this is just filtered on the Cardano projects where they have value. For example, World Mobile Token is a great example. It has um, then an ISPO with Cardano. It had its own pools that you had to dedicate to. And with that, they have now got a market cap of around $54 million. Um, and they have taken off really, really well. And it's the same. They've got loads of different projects where they got funding through these ISPOs as well. So that is where the game changer comes along because a lot of these projects are going to need some startup capital. So they will get the Lunic tokens that you would have got. Um, and with that, they can then use it to build their own sort of value. So for example, when we start with the Anchor Protocol, it might need a level of capital and some liquidity behind it to be able to move forward with this. So that is how we then get value back into the ecosystem because from there, these are all set up to launch. So at the moment, you will just be picking a project, you will research a project, you'll like a project, and you'll go down that route. And that is how we create long-term value for the Terra Luna um, ecosystem, because this doesn't have to be with just the existing projects we have here. New projects will be able to do the same thing, get their own sort of um, funding mechanism to go forward. So what we'd need to do is we need to get a new proposal put onto the Terra Luna blockchain um, to be voted upon. And then from there, we can see if people want to vote on it. But I want to create 
awareness for this before I do so, so everyone knows what's going on. And in terms of how we'd be staking and how it'd work, it'd be in the same sort of process. So you just pick, there would be, for example, if we're doing it now, there'd be an anchor validator node. And this can't happen until around 30th of October. That's when um, they will allow new validators. But what it'd be, you have an anchor protocol node. Um, they will just say how much voting power they have. They take a level of commission. That's what we talked about in the tutorial earlier. And then from there, instead of you getting rewards, like we were seeing here, you will actually um, get zero rewards, but they will airdrop you your tokens. And that would be something that you can use and tradable um, on one of the DEXs once we have the, those go live on the exchange. So it's obviously a very long-term view, but that could add a lot more value than just using Lunic tokens alone. And it could be something that we need to look at. So if you believe in this and think people should vote upon it, um, please, can you share this with everyone? The Terra Rebels are the main ones we need. But obviously, if we can get some big YouTubers involved and they like this concept, we can put it and go in places. So please like, comment and subscribe. Share this with as many people as possible. Follow my TikTok, follow my Twitter, and I will see you in the next one.